FishChainTV.com, YouTube, what's going on? This video is pretty much summing up what I said in my last video, but I know everybody didn't watch my saltwater video because everybody doesn't care about my saltwater tanks. So I gotta show you what's up with the freshwater tank. Didn't make a video on this in a while because I was pissed. I was really, 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 really pissed. Because one of the two small koi angelfish I got a couple weeks back at the local fish tour happened to have velvet. If you guys don't know what Velvet is, it is Ick's big cousin on steroids with Chuck Norris ready to roundhouse kick your ass in his back pocket. It can wipe out, I mean, Velvet can wipe out your tank and you don't even know you have it. And that's the thing. You could have a fish that has Velvet and it would just drop dead out of nowhere. It could be eating, swimming good, just, you know, being a healthy fish one day and boom, dead. Mr. Saltwater Tank TV had Velvet and Marine Velvet is really bad. Uh, but he had velvet and it wiped his whole 90 gallon system out oh my god there's finally a pleco i can show you remember i told you guys i got plecos a while back there's one of the albino plecos right there sorry about the blackbeard algae um once i had velvet i had to start dosing this tank uh for medication and i raised temperature and stuff and heavy aeration to shorten the light span of the parasite and that's the thing velvet has still has a chloroplast so it's also good to turn out lights but that's a different situation uh, I stopped dosing fertilizers because I didn't know what it would do with the medication. So the blackbeard algae came back a little because the CO2 fluctuations. Been dosing uh, Excel again for two days now. It's going to kill the blackbeard algae off again soon. But I've, I've got like 11 serpes out of 15. I've got one rummy nose out of three. Got like six neon tetras out of like 15. Got one rainbow out of like four. Got one ballast shark out of two. Got one, one, one angelfish out of like 10. That's what really pissed me off. This is my only boy I got left. It's getting kind of big too. Got like, I don't know, maybe 10 auto catfish out of like 30. So yeah, it, it pissed me off pretty bad. So I had to dose this tank, get it ready, and just recuperate with this tank. And now I'm 100% sure that the parasite is finally gone, I can start restocking this tank. So that's pretty much what I gotta say guys. Was it my fault? No. Did velvet come from my fish? No. It came from the fish at the local fish store, I'm 100% sure, because some of the fish in that tank with the angels, including the angels, just started dropping dead, and some angels got moved to a sick tank in the corner of the fish store. Fish don't get moved to a sick tank unless they're sick. That's what really made me mad. They knew the fish were sick, and my fish was in that tank. Did I watch the fish breed? Did I watch it swim, eat, interact? Was it hiding? No. Did I study that fish before I purchased it? Yes. But when you have velvet, a couple things can happen. The fish can drop dead, like a lot of my fish did, like my breeding pair of rams, which made me pissed. Um, or they could have white spots. They could scratch against the glass like they have ick. Or they could just stop eating and hide in the corner like my gold angel which really pissed me off my favorite angel in the tank I lost um, my gold angel was one of the biggest angels in this tank <sighs> eating fine one day about to spawn with her boy gotta get here my new girl now about to spawn with his boy eating really good frozen food etc all that good stuff next day I come in here where's the angel fish at hiding in this corner behind the rotala indica and uh, uh, lunophilia and later that night, it died. So that really, 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 really sucked. And also, as I stopped medicating, uh, as I stopped fertilizing this tank, I lost a huge clump of wisteria because when wisteria gets big, it gets out of control and it'll break off its branches. You gotta keep trimming it. And I kind of got off track. Just made a trimming the other day. That's why it was kind of empty over here. But I gotta restock my wisteria. That thing was huge. Uh, jungle Val. And I can finally start planting this side of the tank. And also, Blinks Japonica. I got this stuff when it was really small, and I, I'm experienced it with before. Uh, I got it last year actually, and I split all this shit off that Blinks Japonica because it was just huge. The fertilizers was just doing insane things to this tank. Also lost all my reds and my indica and walichi, so I got to redose this tank with irony stuff. So got a long ways to go. So if you guys didn't see my saltwater tank and you want to see it, and you just didn't want to watch the video, uh, here we go. Saltwater tank's coming back up and running. Got a lot of good things planned for this tank. Gonna install a protein skimmer on it. Uh, good protein skimmer, Eshoth 100. Uh, Phosphan reactor, 
Uh, I'm thinking about switching up the filters on this tank. Going to get a bigger filter on this one for uh, just putting calcium in the cartridge and uh, Kevin Pure Elite and carbon. Just clean it up, and that way this tank can get some filter uh, filtration. Also, thinking about taking this overflow because this one isn't glued that's inside the tank and think about drilling an air hole at the top, capping it off so enough to get sucked down there and making bigger inlets further down so it filters better. So a lot of you people said my sump wouldn't work and this wouldn't hold together so there it is in your face right there it hold perfectly fine together. Installing a UV light on this thing soon. Got the whole nine yards going for it guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Glad to be back. Bunch of videos coming your way soon. Later.